On April 1st and 2nd, the Oakland County Quilt Guild hosted its 2016 quilt celebration at the Cirque Building in Lake Orion. The event has been held every two years since the guild was founded in 1989. Dozens of quilts were on display, mostly made by members, but the show was open to the community as well. The event acts as a fundraiser. Money was raised through ticket sales, vendor fees, and silent auction, which allows the guild to continue their charitable work within the community. We meet once a month, um, 10 months out of the year. We are off in July and August, but we meet once a month as a guild. There's 137 members of our guild. We have a planned meeting every month. We sometimes have a guest speaker come in and teach us or speak something related to quilts or a new technique or a new tool, all kinds of things like that. But throughout the year, we also do charitable dates where we get together and we make quilts for charities. We drop off um, to police officers, Oakland County Sheriff's Department, um, different uh, uh, like the Haven, um, hospitals, we do preemie quilts. We also have a large collection of knitters who knit like preemie caps and all kinds of stuff. So we do just make things for charity to donate. Monetary prizes were handed out in three categories, viewer's choice, vendor's choice, and quilt guild member's choice. Although quilts are meant to be functional, as you can see, many can be displayed as works of art. Um, a lot of women have morphed into professionals and they do it for a living. They buy long arm machines, which you can see behind you. Some of these machines cost $40,000, $80,000 for a long arm quilting machine. Um, but a lot of them, yes, they're pretty and they look like art, but a lot of people use them on their beds, um, in front of the TV, you know, comfort quilts. Like me, I'm a, I'm a functional quilter. So if I make a quilt, it's either a gift for a wedding or a baby shower, or I make myself a quilt for the TV or a bed that that one's kind of getting, you know, old and raggy and needs to be replaced. So you have the whole spectrum of functional quilters to art quilters, and we cover the whole gamut. Guild meetings are held at the First Congregational Church in Rochester. For more information about the Guild, visit oaklandcountyquiltguild.com.